All right, Rangers away, gentlemen, ladies. I'm Captain Volley. I'm the Bravo Company Commander. I'll be the Ground Force Commander for Operation Bull Run. All right, today we're doing a, <clears throat> a car combined arms rehearsal for Operation Bull Run. I know you guys have all gotten your missions, all right, I'm giving you the order. What this does is it serves to synchronize our maneuver elements and our assets in time and space on the situation, on the environment, as is going to be played out in game day here in a couple of days, okay? So the EXO is going to run this. All right, he's going to have directions and script. All right, use his instructions. When you come up here and brief, introduce yourself so everyone knows who you are. All right, and then give all the important uh, aspects and details as far as your movement goes and what you're doing at each phase of the operation. All right, right now, are there any questions of me? Without further ado, I'll hand it over to the XO to get started. Bravo Company XO Bulldog 5. I'll be facilitating this uh, rehearsal. Starting off, we've got some new faces. Um, introduction, so just give your position and your call sign. We'll go from right around the room. All right. Uh, good morning, everybody. I'm your engineer squad leader. My call sign is Sapper 1. Good. 88 team leader, call sign Stinger 1. Mortar squad leader, Bulldog 8. I'm that facility for the Operation Bulldog 9. First platoon, Bulldog 1-6. Second platoon, Bulldog 2-6. Third platoon, Bulldog 3-6. Third platoon, platoon sergeant, Bulldog 3-7. Three Delta, Dagger 3-6. First sergeant, Bulldog 7. Okay, task organization uh, for today's mission. First platoon is going to be the decisive operation. Their task is to seize. Second platoon, task to breach. Third platoon, they're going to have one squad initially kicked out to the scouts. And then for the actions on the objective, they'll have a section uh, under the platoon sergeant that's going to be attached to 3 Delta. Uh, their task is to follow and support. 3 Delta is going to be tasked to support by fire. And then attachments, we've got our fire support team. We've got a uh, stinger team. And then the engineer squad, uh, along with uh, the 3 Delta platoon. All right, uh, for the purpose of this rehearsal, some guidelines to go by. We're going to brief by phase, and then for the actual attack, we'll brief by phase line. The order of briefing, uh, we'll give an introduction first. I'll cover that. FSO will talk enemy situation. We'll go into the supporting warfighting functions, and then we'll brief the maneuver elements um, by either order of movement or order of fire. All right, uh, some other guidelines. As you're talking, come up here, stand, take the mic. You're going to point out to where your unit's moving. Diaz will come up, move your icon so everyone can track uh, the position of your element. Speak loudly so everyone can hear, no sidebars. If we've got any friction points, we'll address those after this rehearsal. Uh, that will be addressed by the commander either immediately or he'll push out a fraggle on that. All right, so uh, at this point, I'm going to orient you north, south, this is west, and east. We're currently located in attack position Kathy, objective bull located here. Uh, working our way across some key phase lines first, phase line California, our LD line, phase line Nevada, phase line Utah, and then along this hill we've got uh, phase line Idaho along that trail. That'll be a trigger that we'll talk later. Working from south to north we've got phase line Florida, phase line Georgia, uh, then we've got phase line Carolina, phase line Virginia, and then phase line Maryland on the far side of the objective. Uh, we've got axis of advanced bears, and then axis of advanced chargers. We've got our link up point eight, ORP, support by fire position one. Uh, applying to the Delta Company, we've got uh, direction of attack dolphins coming up along Box Springs Road. And then for a review of checkpoints, uh, starting with uh, key ones here along Route Vibe, checkpoint two, Checkpoint 3, Checkpoint 4, Checkpoint 5, and then Checkpoint 1, our passage point. Uh, located on the objective itself, we've got TRPs. I'm going to walk around so I can see them. So we've got TRPs 1, 2, 3, and then on the far side, TRP 4. Uh, targets will be briefed by the FSO, and I think that covers all the major pieces. At this time, we're going to bring up the FSO to talk general enemy situation at the company level. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 
Uh, good morning again, Bulldog9, the FSO. Before I get into the enemy summary and composition, I'm gonna point out a, key, a few things first. You got objective bull right here, which is the enemy platoon that we're facing. But then also to the north of the objective, you have objective ant. And then to the south, you have objective cow. And then approximately five clicks to the southeast, you have the town of Darby. And then you also have Cactus Landing Strip, which is where the enemy company headquarters will be located. Um, currently, the objective we face or the enemy platoon we face on objective bull has been in position for about 96 hours. They're currently uh, been tasked to disrupt any U.S. forces coming in from the west and pushing to the southeast towards their town of Darby. Um, right now, the enemy platoon has four squads and about 55 packs. They're raided with three squads facing towards the northwest, towards checkpoint two, um, in prep for what they believe to be a friendly company-sized striker force pushing towards the objective. And then they also have their last squad to the south to prevent any further envelopment on their objective. Um, some things to point out about this enemy platoon, they do, they are plussed up or have attachment of certain weapons, one being the MT-12, which is a direct fire howitzer that they will use to take out any vehicles heading towards the objective or the town of Darby. They also have a Whiskey 87, which is equivalent to our Mark 19 to use for dismounts. And then each squad has been uh, given at least two multiple launch rocket systems, which is equivalent to like a RPG or a Panzerfaust for anti-tank uh, purposes. And then uh, now I will turn it over to the mortar squad leader. Or commander, excuse me. All right, so just to kind of brief you on the uh, friendly situation. Good job, FSO. So we got the enemy on Objective Bull, and we also have Objectives Ant to the, to the north and Objective Cow to the south. So what the friendly situation is, 3rd Brigade, 101st, has been called in to really secure out a passage for our striker units that will be moving through our AO and on to Darby in order to seize Darby and really get at the brigade's decisive operation, which is prevent it from massing combat power and ultimately from moving farther into Columbus and seizing that oil pipeline. So what we're going to do is uh, 3rd Brigade has aligned its forces throughout the disruption zone from north to south. Uh, 1st Battalion 187, we're going to be the, the brigade's decisive operation here. And again, it's going to be securing that passage for 125 ID. We, as the Bravo Company or Team Bravo, are going to be uh, our battalion's decisive operation, all right, with Alpha Company operating to the north and Charlie Company operating to the south. This is key because it makes our AO's boundaries north along Underwood Road and then south along Red Diamond Road pretty much restrictive fire lines as if we fire across over those lines we're going to be getting into Alpha and Charlie Company's AOs, okay? <clears throat> uh, so Alpha and Charlie Companies will set the conditions for our attack by fixing their objectives, objectives Ant to North and Cow to the South, and then allowing us to come through, seize Objective Bull, all right, retain that so that way we can open up passage for our strikers along Route Vibe. That takes us into our friendly mission. So, <clears throat> Team Bulldog attacks no later than 26 500 August 2016 to seize Objective Bull in order to pass 125 ID through RAO and seize uh, the town of Darby. All right, I repeat, Team, Bra Team Bulldog attacks no later than 26 500 August 2016 to seize Objective Bull in order to pass 125 through RAO and seize the town of Darby. My, my intent. Expanded purpose is going to be restore national sovereignty of Atropia. Key task, seize and retain objective bull. Defeat enemy counterattack on objective bull. <clears throat> Secure route of passage through our AO for U.S. force strikers. And then neutralize enemy AT weapons. Add in state with respect to terrain. Objective bull is seized and retained and a route through our AO is open for U.S. force strikers. Enemy, its AT capabilities are neutralized. It's unable to influence any, influence any mounted movement through our AO. And then in respect to civil, U.S. forces have minimized collateral damage. We have legitimized the Atropian Armed Forces. And we have <coughs> uh, secured local populace and infrastructure. Any questions on mission and intent? XO? This operation is in five phases. The first phase is ongoing. It's the prepare phase. Uh, it's got us currently at attack position Kathy. It's going to end when we SP from attack position Kathy. Critical events remaining is our rehearsal that's ongoing now. FSO, enemy situation. All right, gentlemen, again, Bulldog 9. 
Uh, for this one, the enemy, according to the latest, latest intel, has been on the objective for about 96 hours. Currently, they're just building up their defenses. Um, they will have a limited overhead cover, and they will have vehicle fighting positions uh, dug in. They also have one 82 millimeter mortar that's been tasked to this objective. So they're looking at trying to emplace uh, pre-planned targets around the uh, long route vibe in order to prepare for any, force, any friendly forces coming through the AO. Fires assets? Uh, uh, for fires think? assets, we do, we are the battalion's decisive op. So we will have 105s and 120s in support of us. Uh, to complement that, we do have a counter battery radar in order to uh, that will be used to counter battery the enemy's 82 millimeter mortar. Now I'll turn it over to Mortar Squad Leader. All right, once again, ladies and gentlemen, Bulldog 8 Mortar Squad Leader. Uh, what I'm bringing to the fight, I have uh, two 60 millimeter tubes, uh, six mortarmen, and we for this operation we will have 120 rounds of HE. Um, 18 of us, 18 rounds of that will be with us on the movement, and then the remaining 102 rounds will be uh, cross-loaded to uh, the three Delta gun trucks. Um, next. Ladies and gentlemen, Stinger 1, 88 team. I have my four-man team. We have one launcher with six missiles and currently will be in a defensive posture within Alpha Alpha. Ladies and gentlemen, Sapper 1, uh, the engineer. I've got a squad of eight soldiers with me, two teams, and I've got an APOBS and a Bangalore for explosive breach. All right, let's start with the first platoon. Bulldog 1-6, I have uh, three line squads and uh, two gun teams. Uh, for the duration of this phase, I will be uh, in attack position, Kathy, uh, completing TLPs and rehearsals. Bulldog 2-6, uh, same composition as 1-6, and we'll currently be conducting TLPs with rehearsals and uh, prepping our breach equipment for this phase. All right, this is Bulldog 3-6. Uh, critical to this phase, 3rd Platoon uh, will be conducting rehearsals, TLPs. We'll also be losing uh, one squad to the scouts for the completion of their mission. All right, Dagger 3-6, during this phase, we're going to be conducting rehearsals, inspecting our gun systems. I've got four trucks, two 50 cals, two Mark 19s, broken up into two sections. We're going to be inspecting those, make sure they're all mission capable, and we're going to be loading the trailers with all the mortar rounds and company ISR platforms. Bulldog 7. Throughout this part of the uh, operation, our CASVAC will be immediate vicinity of uh, attack position Kathy. Our next level care will be at Alpha Alpha Nate. And then all of our supply trains will be ready to go at Alpha Alpha Nate should we need them. So, CCIR for this phase will be loss or non-mission capable status of any crew serve weapon. So PLs, uh, attachment leaders, let me know if you have any issues, okay? Uh, additionally, what are we doing upon any visual contact or early warning of enemy CCA CAS assets moving towards our location? The enemy does principally commit their hinds. We will have two teams operational with our launcher, constantly observing to the southeast. If hinds are committed, we will engage them. Okay, good. Nothing else, sir. All right. Well, uh, that ends phase one. Prepare with the SP from attack position Kathy. At that point, we go into our move phase. Uh, that's going to end when we are established at our ORP. Key tasks during this phase are passage of lines through the Delta Company screen line, link up with the scouts, and de-rucking vicinity of the ORP. Uh, at this time, we'll bring up the FSO, enemy situation. Bulldog 9, uh, for this phase, the enemy is still continuing to use what little light is left and building up their defenses. They're also looking for a uh, great avenues approach for the and it, for a platoon reserve of BMPs that they have that they can call up in case that their objective gets overrun. All right, during this phase, we, we will be moving uh, with 2nd Platoon um, in their uh, formation uh, with our 60 millimeter mortars uh, in handheld mode in the event of chance contact uh, to, to uh, fix the enemy. Stinger 1, during this phase, we're moving with 3rd Platoon Moving with third platoon throughout the 
axis bears will be contouring that high ground so we have observation to the southeast of Darby. If the hinds are flying map of the earth, we'll be able to identify them once they're in a clearing. All right. Uh, we'll brief first by order of movement, so second platoon. Bulldog 2-6, uh, my platoon will be the first in order of movement. Um, we'll begin moving along axis of advance bears down to checkpoint one. Uh, we'll be conducting far recognition with uh, Delta Company. Uh, once we've gotten far recognition, we reach checkpoint one. That's when we'll begin the uh, passage of lines, uh, the commander uh, leading that so that we can get through Delta's uh, screen line. Once we've conducted the four passage of lines, we'll continue down axis bears um, across the creek to link up point eight. Again, during this, we'll be conducting uh, far recognition with the scouts. Uh, our pace plan for both will be uh, FM, VHF, HF, and then TACSAT. Um, once we get to link up point eight, if we still have not uh, gotten far recognition with the scouts, uh, we'll continue on, give our squad to the commander for him to do near recognition and try to conduct the link up. Uh, at that point, it'll be his call when he wants to break contact and continue on the mission. And then after we've conducted link up, we'll have the scouts uh, back with us. we will move to the ORP finishing axis of advanced bears. Uh, once we reach the ORP, we'll set in our position in the uh, ORP, and then we'll start with preparation for the assault position and de-rucking. Yeah, good job, same platoon there. So of note, he said we'll move to link up eight. All right, I'll, I'll be co-located behind second platoon, so I'll have, he'll have uh, me in his ear in his ear range. All right, uh, upon failed or upon no link up at link up eight, we'll stay there for about 30 minutes uh, and continue trying our pace plan with far recognition signal. If that's no good, we'll move forward myself with uh, a squad from, or myself with our squad for security and key leaders. We'll move up and try to conduct a near recognition signal and get the, the scouts that way. No later than 0300, if we have not gotten link up, we will continue mission. Does everyone understand that? Okay. Sapper 1, uh, my squad will be immediately following 2nd platoon in the order of march. First platoon. Bulldog 1-6, uh, we'll be third in the order of movement. No change to uh, route or formation briefed. Clarification, you'll be second. Second, second in order of movement. All right, this is Bulldog 3-6, uh, third platoon, platoon leader. Uh, as we make our movement down here all the way to link up point eight, critical this phase, uh, the detached squad that was attached to the scouts after successful recon will become reattached to third platoon. All right, Dagger 3-6, during this phase, Delta Company, uh, we'll del uh, three Delta will move south along DOA Dolphins, uh, which is Red Diamond Road. We'll move to attack position Matty. We'll stage on order. We'll uh, move to checkpoint four once the link up has been successful. Hey, right, real quick. Um, PL, what are you going to do upon uh, actions on vehicle breaking down? All right, if a vehicle breaks down, we're going to pull security, call up uh, to, to you to let, let you know what's going on. We'll cross out all men, weapon, equipment, uh, and then move, move on from there to okay. mission. All right, so m mission critical to you is, is uh, two vehicles breaking down, all right? All right. All right, throughout this phase, our sustainment, our company trans, uh, trains will be located still at Alpha Alpha Nate. Our uh, immediate CCP location will be located with me, with 3rd uh, Platoon in the rear of the formation. Our AXP will follow Delta Platoon down to their checkpoint down uh, near, near attack position Matty, and then as they progress after link up, then it'll move over to checkpoint 4. Our second level of care, it, should we need to get everybody out of there, anybody out of the vicinity, then we'll move that uh, CCP location to attack position Kathy. All right, gentlemen, just a couple of things here. Some, uh, some key calls from me, all right? Second platoon is your first order of movement. When you, when you uh, have conducted passage of the lines with Delta Company and you're ready to cross LD, just make sure you call that up, LD phase on California. Also, whenever you've reached link, link up point eight, let me know. And then once um, link up is complete with the recon element, I will let everyone know. All right. 
<coughs> as well as that. So for CCIR, hopefully upon linking up with the recon element, we'll be, answer, we'll be able to answer a lot of our PIR about the enemy. So hopefully that they'll be able to tell us if there's any obstacles along Route Vibe, being that explosive obstacles or movement obstacles. Uh, and hopefully maybe some of the composition uh, and disposition of the enemy on objective bull. Lastly, what I'll need to know is if there's any friendly OPs that are still forward observing uh, objective bull or any part of route vibe that we'll need to look out for as we move across and into our assault position, all right? <clears throat> Lastly, XO, what's probably something that's really important about the handover of reconnaissance? Uh, making sure that information gets disseminated down. Boom. Right on it. All right. So, hey, it's all good that the platoon leader knows exactly what's going on and he's gotten the intel brief. But, but does that matter to anybody if the guy that's shooting his weapon system doesn't understand where the enemy's at? No, it doesn't. All right. So make sure once we do that good handover reconnaissance, we're disseminating that through our ranks to the lowest soldier. Roger? Okay. Like so? Okay. Uh, phase two ends when we're established in the ORP. Uh, that begins phase three, which is isolate. It's going to end when we have our main attack positioned in assault position Bravo, and we have support by fire one in place. Critical events during this phase are the emplacement of support by fire one, which will be a phased emplacement initial, and then uh, the full emplacement, and then undetected movement across uh, the linear obstacle to the assault position utilizing low loom. Enemy situation? Bulldog 9, uh, during this phase, the enemy will be at a heightened state of security due to the fact that our one sister company is attacking up north to Objective Ant and our other sister company is attacking down south to Objective Cal. Um, they do still have the A2 millimeter mortar, so they'll be looking at possibly firing a loom rounds periodically to see if any friendly forces are massing towards the objective. Uh, that being said, they will also be monitoring their comms to see if their uh, BMP platoon reserve has been committed to either Objective Ant or Objective Cal. And lastly, to see if their uh, two hind D stationed at Camp, Dar Camp Darby have been uh, committed to either one of those objectives. All right, Bulldog 8, Mortar Squad Leader, from the ORP, we will be detaching from 2nd Platoon and uh, setting in our mortar firing point um, right here um, with our both 60 millimeter tubes uh, laid on to the objective. Stinger 1, so from the ORP, we'll move to the south side of Machine Gun Hill. We'll be with the mortars essentially to their east. In our observation, we're going to be looking southeast the town of Darby for commitment of enemy cast. Okay, before I bring the maneuver forces up, real quick, our array at this point. We've got 2nd Platoon, 1st in the order movement, covering from 10 to 2 on the company ORP. We've got 1st Platoon covering from 2 to 6, and we've got 3rd uh, Platoon covering from the 10 down to the 6. All right, uh, Delta Company at this point has moved up, and they are staged at checkpoint 4, waiting to come up into support by fire. And I'll start it off with 3-7, briefing initial emplacement of support by fire. Platoon Sergeant for 3rd Platoon. So on order, we'll move from the ORP. I'll be taking a section of my platoon with myself. That'll be my weapons squad and the squad that was previously attached to the recon element. Using stealth, we'll occupy the outer edges of support by far one, and that'll once we're set, that'll be a call to the commander. Bulldog six is a Bulldog three seven. Support by far one initial set. And then confirming on that uh, for your machine guns. So for our machine guns. Our, we'll keep our fires oriented between TRP-1 and TRP-3. Okay. Uh, bipod, tripod? Tripod. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, next up, once we've got initial support by fire set in with our two machine guns, that's going to be the trigger to begin movement of the main attack. So that brings up second platoon, first in order of movement. Bulldog 2-6 will be first in order of movement. Um, we'll have the engineers still with us, attached to the full squad. Move from the ORP, uh, long axis advanced chargers, uh, we'll cross the LDA. Once we cross, we'll move to our assault position 
here to the south of the objective. Um, once we get to the assault position, we'll start setting in security. Uh, engineers are all prepping their equipment and will prepare to move on the breach once IDF starts. Once everyone's occupied the assault position, we'll make the call up to uh, Bravo 6, Bravo 26, uh, Bravo 6, and Bravo 26, uh, assault position is set. Roger. Bravo 6 out. Real quick question, second platoon leader. What are you doing if we take contact anywhere from the linear danger area crossing of, of Route Vibe, otherwise known as uh, Phase Line Utah, into our assault position? All right, Roger. So if we take contact while we're conducting our LDA crossing on our way to the assault position, uh, we'll immediately get in a file, move hastily across to the assault position, and prepare for a hasty assault. Uh, we'll pass that information on to you immediately if you're, you'll be with us, and we'll let you make the call when we want to start the actual assault. Okay. Gentlemen, obviously, as we move closer uh, or farther east into our assault position, we start taking, if we start taking dis, uh, uh, fire to where we're decisively engaged, I'll be more willing to make the call to go ahead and do a rolling assault position into straight into the breach and then to kick off the attack. So what's one good way we all will know if 2nd Platoon is pushing forward to the breach site and beginning the attack? Probably their direct fires, right? So if you see 2nd Platoon uh, beginning its direct fires, suppressing the objective from the south of the objective and haven't called up breach yet, that's probably a good indication that support by fire should probably start to occupy with its guns or with its, with its vehicles and then should probably start suppressing the objective with direct fires as well as the FSO to start calling in uh, suppressive and direct fires, okay? Okay. First platoon will fall, uh, second platoon to the assault position. Uh, we're waiting for the breach to uh, be open so uh, we can assault. All right, Bravo 3-6. Um, we'll be looking at third order movement for this uh, phase and critical to this, as previously mentioned, uh, we'll be losing my platoon sergeant, a weapon squad, and a rifle squad to uh, initial uh, support by fire position one for setup. All right, Dagger 3-6. During this phase, I'll be looking at checkpoint four or five, rather, and uh, as soon as third platoon crosses this trail into their assault position, the XO is going to come down this uh, trail, pick me up in my platoon, bring us up to the mortar firing point. We're going to unload all of our mortars at the mortar firing point, and then we're going to be guided into our sword by fire one position on machine gun hill by the initial sword by fire. They're going to have recon a good spot for our vehicles. We'll stay behind the hill so we don't, uh, we're not detected by the enemy forces, and we'll just wait on the far side of that hill um, until f uh, further notice. Okay, and clarification, that is checkpoint four, and then your trigger for movement is going to be the crossing of phase line Idaho by uh, the third platoon. Let him know that we're about to set in on our uh, assault position. All right, when we're moving through this, I'm going to continue to move with third platoon. And uh, Hermanson, I definitely want you to identify uh, Aiden Litter for that one squad that you're taking with you. And then our CCP location will be at the support by fire location. That's where we're going to move our people to if we need to get out of here and uh, treat them. And then our AXP is going to be checkpoint three. Under suppressive fire, we'll be able to get people out from there. A couple things, gentlemen. Uh, with this phase, all right, some key calls are initial support by fire, one set, all right. Phase or phase on Utah, aka Route Vibe, um, identified and then uh, LDA executed. So LDA complete by its last in order in March, which would be third platoon, and then uh, assault position established. Okay, so make sure you guys are reporting those up. All right, uh, with support by fire one in place, main attack staged at the assault position. Conditions are set for phase three and we move on to phase four, which is the attack. That's gonna end with objective bowl seized. The critical events during this phase are uh, setting conditions with indirect fires and direct fires from support by fire one, being prepared to breach on the objective, and then the actual seizure of objective bowl. Enemy situation. Again, Bulldog 9, FSL. Uh, for this part of the operation, the enemy is still at a heightened state of security. 
Um, they're watching for any friendly forces moving towards the objective, periodically firing a loom to try to detect any friendly forces. They're also still monitoring their comms to see if their platoon reserve or CCA has been committed to objective ant or objective cow. As far as fires go, we do have uh, two targets, two group targets planned for this phase. The first one is Kilo 1 Delta. It encompasses these three targets right here. Kilo Charlie 0041, Kilo Charlie 0046, and Kilo Charlie 2400. The primary observer for this target will be Bulldog 92, which will be attached to 2nd Platoon. I am the alternate in my FSNCO is the contingency. The delivery for that target will be our battalion's 120 millimeter mortars, and then they will be giving five minutes of suppression, alternating between two rounds of PD and two rounds of delay. The primary uh, channel for this will be battalion comms net. That's the first target. Then the second target group target will be our 105 millimeter target. It's going to be these two northern targets right up here, 0041 and 2400. Uh, the observers still say the same. The trigger is still going to be the same. Our unit set in the assault positions and support by fire one set. But this time, instead of five minutes of suppression, they will be giving eight minutes of suppression, alternating between two rounds PD, two rounds of delay. For the uh, combo plan, is still going to be on battalion's fires net. So just to overview, the first target will hit all three for five minutes, and then the second target will hit these two northern targets for eight minutes. Okay. Um, then as far as our support by fire one goes, now that it's set, we're going to set up a critical friendly fire zone in order to give them protection. So in, anywhere, in, a, in other words, if any enemy fires their mortars onto that target, we'll be able to counter battery them. And then my key calls for this phase will be to fire Kilo 1 Delta and Kilo 1 Echo. Okay, while that's preparatory fires are going on, what are you doing? Really? Uh, at this point we have... Uh, Ball 26 at this point, uh, we'll have breach equipment prepped. We'll be getting ourselves in order of movement, ready to move for the ID of the breach and the local support by fire, too. Correct. All right. Three Delta. All right. Dagger 36, during this phase, uh, support by fire one will be set. We'll be orienting our fires between TRP 1 and 3, and we will um, be firing only at targets of opportunity, weapons tight during this phase, uh, primarily focused on those PKMs that are mounted and the Whiskey 87s. Okay. All right, so those five minutes of initial preparatory fires uh, complete. At this point, uh, we're moving forward. So we've got troops at, uh, so this would be second platoon, at phase line Florida. What does that trigger starting with fires? Again, Bulldog 9. Um, for this, the enemy should be taking cover due to the fires that we're pushing on the objective to suppress them. Uh, we will cease the 120 millimeter target, which is Kilo 1 Delta, and in order to pick up for the suppression for that, we'll be initiating our 60 millimeter mortar target, Kilo Charlie 0046, right on the hilltop itself. Um, the observers will still be the same, but the delivery, instead of coming from our battalion's 105s or 120s, it will be the company's 60 millimeter mortars target, and their action is to suppress the objective for 29 minutes. That way we don't lose that suppression on that hilltop target. But instead of being on the battalion's fires net, it will now be on the company command net. Three Delta. All right, no change, so still targets of opportunity. Uh, okay, so order of movement, no change to that, two, one, and then three. Uh, talk to me your formation as you're moving up. Uh, Bravo 2-6, so as we're moving up to uh, phase line, uh, Florida, we've got the engineers with the squad and support, first squad uh, with them in the front, followed by uh, four squad who will be our support by fire, two and then second and third are after them which will be the uh, far side security once we've conducted the breach okay troops have reached phase line georgia what are our triggers fires bulldog nine for this one we'll cease our 105 millimeter target which is kilo one echo that's hitting these back two targets and then we will initiate our smoke target which is a linear target arrayed across the hilltop like this. And it is going to be 
uh, on call from the company commander. It's Kilo Charlie 0106. Uh, the observers will still be the same and it'll be delivered by 105 millimeter howitzers and it'll give us a 50 meter by 500 meter dispersion zone in order to obscure the breaching element from the enemy on top of the hilltop. Um, at this point, the enemy is starting to reposition some of its squads that were right up north towards down, to uh, down towards the uh, breach elements and possibly calling for uh, back to their company CP and asking for uh, more reinforcements from the BMP reserve. Three Delta. All right, at this point, <coughs> Smoke of Fire 1 will go weapons free. We'll orient our fires between TRP 2 and 3, and we'll be able to um, give you 30 seconds of cyclic and then 20 minutes of sustained uh, Smoke of Fire. We will go uh, known and suspected enemy targets, so we'll be firing uh, HPTs again, Mark 19, or, uh, PKMs on the mounted vehicles, and then Whiskey 87s. And we'll also be firing uh, our Mark 19s onto the, the far side of uh, the downslope of the hill at suspected enemy uh, battle positions. Okay, and then uh, adjustment for rate of fire that first 30 seconds, looking at the commander's plan, that was rapid. Uh, okay. Just looking at how long you're doing coverage on that. All right, uh, going into order of movement, second platoon, and then engineers will be involved in this as well. Okay, at this point we're moving to ID the breach. So we'll push the first squad and the engineer squad forward, um, trying to ID the tent of breach. Uh, primary for this, I know the commander wants us to bypass, if possible. So the engineers will be looking for a way around any of their obstacles that they have there, uh, for reinforcing obstacles. If not, then we'll confirm the tentative breach and conduct the breach. Um, our limit for this is phase line Carolina, uh, and we'll set up support by fire two with our fourth squad, our weapon squad, roughly in this area. And they'll be oriented on TRPs three and four. Um, once we've ID'd and confirmed the breach, um, if we cannot bypass, then we will conduct the breach. Go through SOSRA at this point? Yep. All right. So for SOSRA, uh, beginning with that, our primary suppression is the indirect fires that we have. Um, then we have support by fire uh, one and two, which will also be our alternate contingency. Uh, as far as obscuration, we have the 60 millimeter smoke target that's on call. So we call our 9-2, we'll call that up uh, through the company command net for the smoke target. Um, do you want fires to talk to the actual target on that? Uh, already covered. Okay. And then at this point, uh, secure, we've got our near side security with the uh, first squad and also the, the support by fire. And then we'll be working uh, far side security after the breach is conducted. I'll pass it to the engineers for reduction. Sapper one. So for reduction, um, the, our primary means of reduction is going to be explosive, APOPs for mines, and the Bangalore for wire. Alternate is going to be mechanical. We have our grappling hooks. And then our contingency is going to be physical. We're going to conduct a hasty clearance to proof the lane uh, once we've explosively reduced the obstacle. And then we're going to mark it. The left hand uh, handrail of the lane is going to be marked with engineer tape. And then we're going to uh, every three meters will be marked with an IR chem light for night marking. Okay. At this point, uh, once <coughs> the obstacle has been reduced and we're on to assault, uh, our main assault element, we're going to push through two squads, uh, second and third squad. They're going to button hook right. Uh, support by fire at this point will be oriented uh, outside the SDZs for them, and we'll have them get in a, a line formation uh, so they can provide far side security. Uh, at this point, the breach is set, and we're able to pass uh, first platoon through the breach. A couple things, second platoon leader. Um, what's going to be your cue that the breach is complete? Oh, your uh, signal pace plan specifically. So once we have the breach complete, uh, the engineers have proof marked and it is ready for us to pass. We've got security on the opposite side. I will call up to you. Bravo six is Bravo two six. Uh, breach open. At that point, as soon as I get that to you on FM, I will pop a green star cluster over the objective. Once it's passed over the objective, uh, we'll get a confirmation from the XO, who will be with the support by fire with a green star cluster back saying that support by fire has shifted their fires effectively. Okay, so your button hook and right coming through the breach, uh, will support by fire too be looking out for that green star cluster as well so that they shift fires? Yes, they know that it's their signal for them to shift fires uh, and orient strictly on uh, TRP3. Okay, great. So went through the social pace plan with you too. I'm very pleased. My only concern would be making sure that that squad leader 
uh, I'm sure maybe you'll have your platoon star on there. It's very, is tracking that he's turned on and ready for those guys to, to salt through and see that breach signal because if they button hook right and do his fires, we have issues. Roger. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right, at this point, uh, we're moving across Phase Line, Carolina as first platoon passes through. So we'll start out with uh, fires and support by fire actions on that. And then one clarification, that TRP that you're running on is TRP4 when, when they pass through the breach. Gentlemen, again, Bulldog 9. Um, the enemy at this point will be attempting to uh, execute their plan withdrawal due to the fact that they don't want to lose their MT-12 uh, AT system and using their four technical vehicles to get the casualties and that AT system out back while the rest of their platoon is still continuing to defend against the breach. Um, for this, if they haven't already initiated their 82 millimeter mortar, they will be to try to stop the friendly forces from progressing up onto Objective Bull. For fires, we will end up sh uh, ceasing our 60 millimeter mortar target which will be the Kilo Charlie 0046. So at this point, all fires have ceased on the hill in order to avoid fratricide for friendly forces. The smoke target has already completed. We will end up firing a retrograde target, which is Kilo Charlie 2405, back here by Cactus Landing Strip in order to catch some of those enemies withdrawing off the objective and to prevent any reinforcements coming from uh, Cactus Landing Strip. This fire, um, the observers for this, fire, for this fire mission will stay the same. The delivery will be our 120 millimeter mortars. It'll be approximately 10 rounds of proximity, and this will be called up on the battalion's fires nets. Hey, real quick, just something I want to point out. I think we mentioned earlier, all right, the enemy has no counter battery ability or capability. So what does that mean? It means if he starts shooting 82 millimeter mortars at us, trying to advance uh, from the south to north on the objective, it means he's only going to be able to get a few shots off before he knows he's going to need to displace, all right? So that's good for us because he's not going to be able to mass and direct fires at our position to the south, all right? However, that being said, we're still assaulting their strong point defense, okay? So once we're down in there and we kick this thing off, we need to be moving with a violence of action to get up on the objective, all right? Three Delta. Uh, actions on troops ca crossing phase line Carolina. All right, prior to troops crossing phase line Carolina, support by fire one will cease fire. Got it. All right, first platoon. All right. <clears throat> now that second platoon has uh, secured the breach, uh, first platoon will uh, arrive at phase line Maryland. Uh, correction, uh, phase line Georgia, and begin, begin our systematic clearing of, of the objective. Uh, gun one will be attached to first squad, and gun two will be attached to second squad for the duration of this movement. They will successively bound uh, through the objective. Uh, once we hit phase line Virginia, we have a the platoon uh, at this phase line. That is uh, when we have reached the decisive point for the company, uh, and that is the foothold of one platoon uh, at this phase line. Uh, at that time, we will uh, finish our successive bounds all the way through to uh, Phase Line, Maryland. Uh, once we have reached Phase Line, Maryland, uh, that is our LOA uh, for this part of the operation. Okay, third platoon. Critical for third platoon during this phase will be third in the order movement behind second platoon, uh, ready to follow and support them through the movement on the objective. So at this point, with first passing through the breach, second stationary around the breach, you'll be following first, uh, assisting primarily focused toward enemy approach along uh, the route from Cactus Landing Strip, third. All right. So during this portion, of, or during this phase of the operation, the CCP will be located at our assault position, Bravo. AXP is going to be no change. Now, as... Second platoon, you have conducted the breach. Third platoon, after you have passed through the breach, you are now my new CCP personnel. So I need you to identify those uh, aid and litter teams and be ready to go. So that also means that you're going to be the CCP security. I need your medic to be set up, ready to go, with, IR, or with the, all the necessary markings as per our SOP. Okay? I need you to make sure we separate urgent from priority and from the routine, okay? 
So, Jimmy, just just a few things here. Um, <clears throat> first, Sergeant kind of hit it with the, with the markings. Uh, however, down there, CCP. I mean, we're going up against an enemy strong, uh, an enemy perimeter defense right here. All right, so you know, ex expect to you know we're going to be in the enemy's crosshairs at that point, in pretty close range. So, expect if we have to uh, take if we do take casualties of this operation, the best chance is probably at that position. All right, so second platoon, be ready with that. Key calls for this phase are going to be. Um, Bypass or breach site or bypass site identified, breach complete, all right, and then passage lines uh, for first platoon taking the fight up through the objective. And then first platoon, good job noting, all right, the decisive point will be first platoon or any platoon in a fighting formation uh, hitting phase line Virginia, okay, so once you get there, let me know when, you're t when you've taken the fight that far, all right, and we'll continue on. Uh, a couple things that I'll need to know as far as CCIR, all right. Uh, failed breach, you already, you know, good social pace plan, all right, you two, but first thing, if we have a failed breach, I need to know that immediately, all right, and then also in regards to the enemy, any repositioning of assets, either from Cactus Landing Strip, uh, Objective Ant to the north, Objective Cal from the south, um, or the enemy reserve coming up to the objective, if anybody sees that, if we have any early warning of that, we need to know immediately so I can cue first platoon and third platoon as a follow-on to prepare for that fight, okay? All right, XO. Okay, with objective bull seized, back clear complete, that's going to trigger our transition to phase five, which is the pass phase. Uh, it's going to end when we've passed one, two, five, past the 16 easting. Uh, key tasks or critical events during this phase are going to be consolidation and reorganization, clearing of route vibe between checkpoints two two, three, and then passing one, two, five, along route vibe, battle hand over line being the 16 easting. All right, so first up to talk on that, we'll have enemy situation. All right, ladies and gentlemen, obviously we already control uh, objective Bush Hill and the enemy in the previous phase had retrograded back to Cactus Landing Strip. Uh, for them, they're gonna fire their 82 millimeter mortars on our objective as they retrograde and they'll be planning for their counterattack to push back and seize the objective. However, we do have our counter battery radar up during this whole phase. So as they begin to fire on the objective, we'll be able to generate a fire's mission and fire back at them. Um, we don't have any planned target for this phase. However, we can refire Kilo Charlie 2405 or adjust off of it, depending uh, which way or if the enemy comes from or if they take that uh, quick avenue of approach. We will also be establishing a critical friendly fire zone on Objective Bush Hill itself. That way, not only will we build a counter battery, uh, anything that comes in, but if there's other enemy assets that start firing onto our objective, we can counter battery that too. Uh, once, uh, as far as ISR goes, we will, we will have the eye in the sky that will push up at the commander's call and we'll have it float more towards Cactus Landing Strip in order to observe enemy movement and see when and where the enemy counterattack will come from. You will also have a Raven that you're controlling at that point too, so you'll be able to cover other avenues of approach. Okay. All right, uh, let's see. Next, we'll talk positioning for 60s. All right, Bulldog 8. Um, at this point, on command from Bulldog 6, we will uh, um, move the 60 tubes from MFP 1 to MFP 2, just on the north side of Objective Bull. And once there, we will um, lay our 60s in vicinity of Cactus uh, Landing Strip. Stinger 1, so during Phase 5, we will move with the mortars in that 3 Bravo element. We we'll move to the east. We occupy on the south end of Objective Bull. Orientation is going to be those Heinz commitment from the southeast from Darby. Okay, array of forces at this point with it seized. We've got a terrain-based quadrant using this T intersection here. So quadrant one facing this way, quadrant two, quadrant three, and then quadrant four. We've got first platoon oriented, uh, quadrants one and two, and then second platoon oriented, quadrants three and four. Uh, third platoon, company reserve, helping out first sergeant, 
uh, with consolidation reorganization. Um, at this point, I'll bring up engineers and then three Delta to talk their actions. So engineers, you're going to be moving down to support my final one. Sapper one. Uh, at this point, we're going to be on Objective Bull. We're going to be moved down um, to be with Support by Fire One. We're going to be with Three Delta, and our task for this phase is to be conducting a clearance of between checkpoints two and three along Route Five. Three Delta. All right. As soon as the engineers pick up uh, or link up with me at Support by Fire One, I'm going to bring them down. Uh, along with the XO, down back to Red Diamond Road, direction of uh, Tech Dolphins, we're going to clear checkpoint three and then move nor uh, north to checkpoint two, where we're going to stage and be prepared to link up with the 125 strikers. We will guide them down Route Vibe, Box Springs Road to checkpoint three um, and then uh, pass them forward through our lines at that point at the 16 Easting. All right, for this phase of the operation, we'll be moving our supply trains up from Alpha Alpha Nate. They'll come along Red Diamond Road, us uh, DOA Dolphins. We'll conduct link up. I'll take a squad from 3rd Platoon, and we'll go down and link up with them, bring them up into our, as close as we can to our ORP, load up what rucks and everything we can, and then maneuver onto the objective with all rucks and speed balls for resupply. So during this portion, the CCP will be located on the objective itself. AXP will be maneuvered up to this intersection. Okay. Platoons, one, two, three, order brief. All right, Bulldog 1-6, uh, we'll be arrayed uh, with the first and second quadrants, uh, preparing for the enemy counterattack. Uh, we'll place our 240s on the high speeds avenues of approach in case they uh, decide to uh, come up from a cactus land landing strip. Um, and we'll um, use the eye in the sky to observe any enemy actions. Bulldog 2-6, uh, we'll have quadrants 3 and 4 uh, preparing for a counterattack. Uh, mostly we'll have overwatch of Route Vibe and then the southern route um, providing overwatch as uh, we pass uh, one, two, five through us, and as three Delta conducts, it's clear. Third platoon, critical this phase, will be oriented on the uh, second quadrant here, facing the south and east. Uh, we'll also be uh, retaching all the detached elements uh, from the previous phase, uh, including the weapon squad, the rifle squad, and the platoon sergeant uh, up here on the objective. I think we got everything. Okay, a couple things for me, guys. Um, FSO, I'm tracking we have priority fires from 120s uh, during this phase of the operation. Okay, so that being said, make sure you establish um, good radio comms with them before we break down our 60s, all right? We want to ensure we always have an IDF asset to bring to the fight when, uh, when we lose those 60s or any time of the operation. So when we lose the 60s, I want to have the 120s available in case we do see movement coming in uh, to disrupt their counterattack formations, all right? Uh, obviously, uh, some, key, uh, some key calls is going to be everyone setting their defense positions on objective bull, and then um, when three, three, dollar, three dagger and the engineers link up to complete their uh, clearance, all right? When clearance is complete, let me know at checkpoint two. Um, when a contact point is established, XO, let me know. And then also some, some CCIR there. If you weren't able to uh, breach every obstacle on Route Vibe, I need it marked. I need that location sent to me immediately, okay? Um, <clears throat> lastly, you know, first platoon, you're going to have the brunt of the enemy counterattack if they come at you, all right? So second platoon, um, make sure to be in constant comms with first platoon. And also make sure to alert anybody if you get any early warning whatsoever, either from your... Uh, your air asset there with the uh, aerial reconnaissance or um, through early warning of, of actually seeing the move, okay? Let it communicate that earlier, the better, okay? Um, I think that's all I got. XO. Okay. Any alibis or questions at this time before I turn it over to First Sergeant the Commander? First Sergeant, you have anything else? <laughs>
Lieutenant we'll Sergeant, make sure you get me the ups uh, in the next two hours for your PCCs, PCIs complete before you head out of here. All right? Sir. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think, I think we went through it uh, as I as I visualize it and put it down on paper and briefed you earlier, okay? Does anyone have any questions about anything that went over today? If you're unclear, now's the time to bring it up so we can synchronize it. We'll deconflict it right now before we go execute. Okay, no questions, all right? So, uh, PLs, come talk to me uh, once, you, once you go back and check on your platoons, all right? Uh, just to get one, one good uh, one good last summary of everything. XO, I'll talk to you after this. Good job putting this together. Great terrain model. All right, guys, um, meet your time hacks. We're going to LD at 1900. Okay? All right. Good.